with the hundreds of places you can learn to code online, is Codecademy Pro even worth it? We're gonna talk about it, we're gonna go behind the scenes, and the video starts right now. Hey everybody, it's Real Tough Candy from RealToughCandy.com back online with you guys today for another platform review, this time Codecademy, but not just any Codecademy, Codecademy Pro. Now we've talked about this platform here and there on this channel, but I've never done a review on it, let alone the pro level. So we're gonna take a peek at it. We're gonna talk about the pros and cons of this platform because there is, there are some really cool things about Codecademy Pro and there are some things you really gotta take a look at before you take the plunge. So what we're looking at right now is my little landing page. I took a crack at the create a back end app with JavaScript just to see what it was all about. As you can see, I, I really didn't do any challenges or anything. I was just taking a peek at it. And the thing is about Codecademy Pro, one of the first things I noticed is that it is feature rich, like rich, rich. There are just so many options here. Now, to be fair, there is an onboarding page. This is the first page I saw when I signed up for Pro. So you can go down here and check out the pro paths. There's an assessment page where you can actually see what you might excel at or what you might enjoy more. So if you don't know you wanna do web development, you don't know if you wanna do backend stuff or database stuff or even machine learning, you can take that quiz and they'll guide you from there. They also give you a real world project section here. And then there's a video tutorial box. But the thing to note about this platform is that it is not video based. Videos, I think, are kind of an afterthought for this program. They're very helpful, like for the projects and for other miscellaneous lectures, they do have walkthroughs and explanations. But primarily, this is an interactive coding environment based platform with the assistance of videos here and there. So here are the paths. Let's check out web development. I'll just show you a little bit about what this is all about. So this path is designed to teach you full stack web development. They also teach React. They show you the command line, Git, uh, designing stuff, JavaScript fundamentals, intermediate JavaScript, even some TDD stuff, which for a beginner's platform, and I think this is really more beneficial for code newbies and people early on in their career, uh, this, this has always been a platform good for beginners. Seeing uh, TDD in this intro section is, is kind of interesting. It's something I don't see a lot with intro topics. Right up top, they show you, okay, it's gonna be 14 modules or 14 lessons that you can start. And then by the time you get to the end of the 14th one, they're gonna give you that little trophy. So let's go down here. This is the TDD section. We'll go ahead and hit start on that. And I'll show you what their learning environments look like. And this is the typical layout, the typical interactive environment you see with all of these courses and all of these paths on the pro version of Codecademy. They have the learning section on the left, and then you just take it from there. They have you do a few things. They're very explicit with what they have you do in the editor. And even if you do get stuck, there is a get help section here. And we'll go over this more in a minute because with a lot of these, at least with the projects, they have video walkthroughs. So in addition to the career paths, they also have skills paths. The difference between career paths and skill paths is that the skill paths focus more on one specific technology or one specific concept. And this skill path in particular is create a backend app with JavaScript. And let me go in here and I'll show you these lessons. This is what I mean by all these features though. They're really robust with what they offer you as far as the learning environment. So you have a reading, the two reading lessons here, two projects, a quiz, and an article. So they really mix it up with the multimedia aspect of it. And I wanna show you the projects because this was another thing that kind of differentiated this platform from the others I review, is that the projects are, ma they're not massive. The quantity is really impressive when you compare these to other platforms. So again, same type of user interface here. You have the objective of what they want you to do on the left-hand side. They're gonna pop up the interactive code editor as soon as everything gets fired up. And then down here are your tasks. So I hit the start button, the interactive code editor pops up. They want me to do this in JavaScript, of course, because this is a JavaScript path. So that file name is app.js. They populated that for me. 
So there are a lot of small details that are taken care of. And I think for some developers, this is gonna be a little heavy handed because you're doing everything in the browser and you're not naming things, you're not really getting way into the code. Uh, so for some people that is gonna be a turnoff, but I think for others too, especially if you're early on in your coding journey, these things can help. And you can always do this on your local machine too, if you find that this is too heavy handed. So with each little task they have you do, if you get stuck, grab a hint. If the hints aren't enough, you can also hit get help. And there's actually a video walkthrough for most of these projects that I saw. These are unlisted videos on YouTube and you can either watch it right here or just click on it and be taken to YouTube. But it is such a handy feature because in contrast, take a site like Free Code Camp, which Free Code Camp is a great platform, don't get me wrong. They have a great community. They've inspired and helped people, so many people succeed. Uh, but I haven't seen this level of help on Free Code Camp. And I think that's where the pro, this, this pro membership, this is one of the reasons I would pay for this on a consistent basis. So I could get these various types of help and support without leaving the actual platform. Uh, if you check out my some of my earliest videos, they were free code camp project walkthroughs and, and code challenge walkthroughs just because they weren't right there inside the browser and so many people were getting stuck that they had to go to YouTube. Even though there are a ton of projects in Codecademy Pro in these learning paths and in these skill paths, I'm hesitant to call this a project-based platform. Projects are a big part of it, but the projects are just kind of intertwined with the lessons. Let's go back to my page here. There's this toolkit option. I haven't really explored this much. Depending on the most recent lesson you've taken, this updates. So like a few minutes ago, I was exploring JavaScript. There is a JavaScript cheat sheet here. And if I click on that, that's gonna go to this page where I can download this cheat sheet and really just get the vital protein of HTML. Going back to the skill path, which is create a backend app with JavaScript, there, there are more than just this one, but this is the one I picked. Let's look at a few other projects here. They have, let's see, Sleep Deck Calculator, Rock, Paper, Scissors. What are the more advanced ones? Project Beat Mix, Complete the Beat Mix Project, a drum machine web app that allows you to create musical patterns and save them as presets. The final chapter in the skill path involves two capstone projects, and these are complete CRUD APIs for two different businesses. You're gonna build an API using Express.js and SQLite for an internal management tool for a comic book publishing company. And again, they have those walkthrough videos for each of these projects super super helpful and then you just hit start there are 54 tasks in this project as part of the pro membership you also get access to a few of these community tools I'm actually not sure if you get these with the free membership we'll check that out in just a second but either way you get access to events their Facebook group and the forums I'm gonna pop over here and we'll check this out so the basic plan that's the one where you can just check out the free basic courses, nothing much else. In the zero, the free tier, there is no community support or peer support rather. So these are benefits of the pro, the Facebook, the Code Academy forums and the event section. But if we go back here, pro is $19.99 a month. So everything I just showed you, and this is just, I mean, going back to that thing of this having a million bazillion features, for some people that's gonna be really cool because it's just like a wonderland of coding and doing things. And I think for a few other people, this is gonna be just a little too much, but they do a seven day free trial. So if you're not sure, try the free trial. And then if you like it, rock on. If not, you know, there are so many other platforms you can check out. So it's $19.99 a month if you pay yearly. Otherwise it's $40 a month, month to month. That's something they don't tell you here. So just know that. So you save 50% doing that year, year thing. And if you plan on doing this for the long term, this could be the platform for you. All in all, I was, I was pleasantly surprised by what Codecademy Pro offers. I think their courses are really clean. I think they offer so many topics for developers to explore. The negative side of that is that it could be TMI and even just too much information for, for one membership. I have reviewed dozens of courses over the last couple years of having this channel. This is one of the more complicated 
platforms I've experienced, even trying to find that one page of all these cool projects I wish I could have showed you for this review, I have no idea where it went. The other big thing this platform has going for it are the projects. There are so many always going to be doing something. You're always going to be creating something, even if it's something super simple and they continue to have you do those projects, the deeper you get into the platform. Check this one out. They do a seven day free trial. Use my link in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Hope this video was helpful. If you are a member of Codecademy Pro or a former member of Codecademy Pro, let me know what you think. I would love to hear your thoughts. All right, everybody have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.